start off with the peace mantra, shanti mantra from Samaveda. Samaveda has two Upanishads, Talavakara and uh, Keno Upanishad. Both of them starts with the same peace mantra. The meaning of this one, may the all-pervading principle enter into me. With this, may, may my prana shakti and the eyesight, hearing, limbs, all be infused with energy. With this elevated energy, may I approach a competent teacher to learn about the higher things in life. In the process of learning, may I never become an arrogant person and denounce the presence of all-pervading principle. May the all-pervading principle never forsake me. There should be good bonding exist between us. <coughs> With this, may all the virtues mentioned in the scriptures, may they come and repose in me. May all the virtues mentioned in the scriptures come and repose in me. Om Apya Yantu Mamangani Vak Prana Chakshushrotram Adhobalam Indriyani Chasarvani Sarvam Brahmo Panishadam Maham Brahma Nira Kuriyam Mama Brahma Nira Karot Anira Karanam Astu Anira Karanam Me Astu Tadatmani Nirate Ya Upanishadso Dharmaste Mai Santu Te Mai Santu Shanti 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 This last week uh, we had uh, International Day of Yoga celebration in uh, four different locations uh, to reach out and uh, to bring out the message of uh, yoga and wellness, health care in the community in there. Uh, we did it in various suburbs. In the purpose uh, behind this one, that one is uh, bringing the awareness to the community. And the second one, beneficial for the sadhakas. The sadhakas, we sadhakas, we have to get involved with these type of practices. In Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says, Aruruksho muner yogam karma karana uchyate one who is treading the path of these ones, they have to get involved in reaching out to others, help out, because karma, aru ruksha, aru ruksha means one is a path of the higher, one who is a path of the wanting to reach, path of the higher knowledge. Aru ruksha muner yogam, karma, for those people doing these ones, the bliss in them, happiness in them opens up. The path, the path they are treading opens up. The, they have to get involved more and more of these ones. That those who participated, both those who volunteered, they can, uh, they were saying that they feel very good. That uh, the ananda, ananda vriddhi, the ananda vriddhi is the yoga for sadhakas. Yoga sadhakas, these are the, when these uh, events happens, Throw your heart behind this one. That uh, teacher behind that one, he or she has uh, some vision behind this one. When you get involved, you get higher energy in that one. And the people who done that one, that that's the uh, one is uh, beneficial for the uh, sadhakas. Aruruksho muner yogam karma karana uchyate. And um, this uh, karma, karma means uh, meaning of karma. Kar, it's a uh, Nana Janasya Shushosha. Reach out. Help wherever you can and do it with knowledge, with awareness. This is called as karma. In the, when, um, in the yoga, yoga sadhana, in the Patanjali, Patanjali, he talks about uh, uh, it's, uh, these, are the, these are the framework required by a seeker of a higher knowledge. Otherwise, I do yoga. Some people said, why you did not come? I practice my, my own. I practice at home. They say, 
these are the the quality of a st student wanting to get into that path patanjali says bhagavad gita says this should be the framework of a student that type of student practice of yoga that becomes a dispeller of grief oneself otherwise if i don't have that type of framework if i think i am practicing yoga on the mat that will lead to nowhere and patanjali says in the second chapter yoganga anusthana ashuddhikshaye jnana deeptira viveka kyate by the practice of limbs yoganga anusthana anusthana with that framework that i want to reach out as a service to the lord wherever i can i will reach out yoganga anusthana ashuddhikshaye the the ignorance the negativity in me gets re removed ashuddhikshaye and the light of knowledge dawns within the limbs of knowledge patanjali talks about that that is the prerequisite one is the positive thinking that is the prerequisite with that when i practice when is the yoga that uh, he talks about yama phi in principle niyama phi in principle it's um, yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana and samadhi yama yama is uh, uh, it's a uh, dealing when i am dealing with the outer world what are the the concepts the the rules and regulations i have to apply on to myself they they are called as yama and niyama this uh, niyama are the rules uh, yama dealing with other people rules i have to observe niyama on towards myself i should have some discipline in my life the what are the disciplines i should have when i am dealing with the outer things what are the disciplines five in number yama yama is ahimsa ahimsa paramo dharma it starts with ahimsa himsa himsa means uh, uh, hi, in uh, samskrita himsa hingsa it's uh, the original meanings hingsa it's a uh, sing sing also that uh, sinha sinha that uh, sinha that uh, meaning one who is uh, terrible that uh, terrible to the bad people that, that's the uh, sing sing means uh, that's the meaning of that one and simha means meaning of that one ahimsa my living should not be a burden for others that my living that um, uh, it's um, it, it should, people uh, when i go go away from the scene should not say that good riddance that my living it's a, it's a contribution to the, the society as long as i live i should be of value to the society it is called as ahimsa 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 satya satya is uh, true to myself and uh, true uh, is uh, satyam bruya priyam bruyan na bruya satyam apriyam it's a upanishad also says T talk but it should be good it's a uh, actual but also it should be conducive if you say something if it is bringing the destruction to the community to the society not to say the truth by telling a lie if it brings in good to the student good to the community that it's called as truth in the scriptures also if a mother is uh, if a child is ke uh, keep asking for uh, sweets if the mother says there is no no more sweets at home those sweets are there the what she said though it's uh, false but in the scriptures it says it says it is called as uh, truth if um, in the in the mahabharata war also dronacharya had uh, taken a vow that every day he will kill uh, 10000 uh, people in uh, pandava's side shri krishna wanted uh, to stop that one and asked dharmaraja to say ashwatthama hatah that uh, say that ashwatthama has died ashwatthama is dronacharya's son hearing that one he will stop dronacharya was uh, it's uh, uh, sorry yudhishthira yudhishthira asked yudhishthira to say that one but yudhishthira was very shaky that uh, he, he was um, he was known for truthfulness and uh, he did not have full faith in krishna's word 
and he says this terror then he said the ashwatthama hatha and kunjara it's a, as elephant he quite quietly said elephant elephant called ashwatthama before then uh, bhima had killed a elephant called um, ashwatthama it was creating a havoc and he did not have full faith and he said kunjara and uh, then um, because of that one and uh, when he left his body he had a naraka darshana that he had to go through the bad the soul had to go through the the bad bad face that naraka darshana he, because he did not have faith in krishna's words and he did not know what what exactly is the truth the truth truth when you are saying that even if you say some false it is bringing in good you say it is shri krishna says that is the truth and uh, in another example uh, it is given in the upanishad one person was uh, chasing uh, uh, the cows it's uh, he wanted to kill the cows and the cow was in the ashram this person uh, 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 this person who was ch- chasing the cow he asked that uh, hermit did you see the cow and uh, he thought he should not say any lie and he showed his hand where the cow is that person came and killed the cow and because of that one in the next life that person that um, he his hand was chopped off that uh, he uh, he was one handed person in the next life and whatever you do there is a reason behind that one in the truth when you say the truth truth there is a try to uh, truth opens up today i think this is the truth as a progress that then i will say i thought that was the truth that is not the truth this is the truth and uh, now we think this person is a very honest person and after 5 years i will say i thought that person was a honest person now i realize that person was not honest that uh, truth as we progress in the sadhana when you start reading the scriptures inner meaning starts opening up when the inner meaning starts opening up new dimensions opens up what i thought was the truth before and as i evolve that it opens up differently that truth truth the uh, in uh, shri krishna says i only know the absolute truth you all have to understand the truth accordingly that truth opens up as you do the sadhana it op- opens up slowly as we progress progress the truth opens up and uh, it says for the situation with a good intention to bring in the good to the community say the whatever your action should be your motive should be to bring in the good not to say the truth for the sake of truth truth and bringing the commotion destruction of the community ahimsa satya we covered and the other ones we will touch upon next week lie down on your back